Hey guys, my book is the money today. Um, you might not might have heard me for like a week now. Um, I rarely make videos anymore because um, simply because it takes me too much time to make this video. This video took me like ten times. To basically, I record the video for like fifteen minutes and I made a, a little mistake, and it takes me a million times to edit it. So I was like, I just want everything on one shot. So it takes me like fifteen times to record this video. So um, I'm gonna do it now with a nice, calm speed. Okay. So this is the review of the smart features on the Galaxy devices. Um, on Galaxy devices. Now most of the people out there might be thinking this is only in on the Galaxy. S3 device because as you can see in front of you is the Galaxy S3 and it just shows the Galaxy S3. But no, um, most devices like the Galaxy S Advanced, the Galaxy S, the Galaxy S2, um, S2 Mega I think, I'm not guessing, I'm guessing they have that as well. Um, the S3, S3 Mini, the, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Mega, the Note, the Note 2, uh, S4, S4 Mini, uh, S4 Mega, S4 Zoo, S4, can I do it, can I do it, can I do it? Active, yeah, that's the one. So all these devices are smart and all it's usually all the S's, okay? So all the S's that have this smart feature on it. Now, um, what I mean by that is, uh, that's a high-end device. So this is my, my phone is like one of the best phones that just came, that came out um, in 2012. And it was an iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S was out at that time. And this phone beat all of them. The companies, all the companies out there said this is the best winning, award-winning phone. And uh, this phone, when it came out, it was over £600 when PS ago, mate. Now it's two hundred and ninety eight pounds at coffee warehouse. So just go and get go, go and grab one whilst it's still lasts. Um, I think uh, August they had about four hundred, but I mean an amazing price. Uh, if I own the company, I'll put it much higher than that. I mean that's a ridiculous bargain, and it's six hundred people bought six hundred reviews. One of the highest popular phones on the website, and all of them said four point seven or six stars out of five. I even made a review on there, so go and check that out. Um, so yeah, so today I just want to show you some smart features. So smart stay. Now, Smart Stay is one of the features I use a lot. Um, it's basically like, if you look at the screen, if you don't look at the screen, right, the, the screen will automatically dim. Now, this is important in life because, for example, if you're reading through text, I know many of you like out, out, like out there, like if you're going on a train, you're know, reading a text, like, you, uh, like if you're doing it on an iPhone, you just have to keep tapping the screen when it, when it dims. So it's like, oh my god, is it going to dim? Is it dimming? Is it, when is it going to dim? I'm, I'm not concentrating on the story, I'm just concentrating on when it's going to bloody dim. So I'm going to press on that screen and it doesn't dim. So it doesn't disrupt my, my frame of mind on reading this bloody text. Guys, calm down. Calm, just just literally calm down. That's not going to happen to you. Nothing's gonna, nothing like that's going to happen to you. But if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3, nothing like that's going to happen to you. But if you have an iPhone, I'm not like saying iPhone is bad, but in that way, it is bad. Okay, because it doesn't have a smart stay, it has to top the screen for it to stay awake. Now, this uh, I think this function is only available on Samsung Galaxy S on Samsung Galaxy devices. That's why Galaxy, I mean, they have amazing screen and many qualities over other phones and amazing smart features, uh, which other phones can't com compete against. Can't compete against, sorry. Um, so, smart stay. Now, smart stay, as I told you what it is. So, I, personally, I like to read um, free Instagrams. Um, I like to look at my news feed. I like to look at my keeks. I like to look at other people's keeks. Um, go on my kick, go on browse through news feed on Instagram, go on my Facebook, all of that, all the emails and everything like that. I like to do that. I'm, I'm that type of person. But if my phone is going to, is not going to dim, if like, because sometimes I, I do agree that I fall asleep whilst reading text, whilst reading a book, whilst reading, um, what's it, Instagram posts. I do fall asleep and my, and I'm just like, oh, when I wake up today, this morning, I'm just going to go out and my battery was 100% full. My battery was 90, 97% when I went, when I went to fall asleep. When I woke up, it was 2%. I was like, what the hell? And then, and then after a minute when I brush my teeth, I woke I go back to my phone and I was at 0% and the phone will actually turn on. And I, and I had a really, imp I had a really important place to go like one hour later. And I was like, wow, how is it going to compete be against? So this was, this wasn't how my, my, my phone before, but now. With this feature, with this device, it has smart stay. So even though you're not looking at the screen, it will recognize that by this. Let me show you what I mean. So it will show you like this. Like you know, I'm not looking at the screen now, so I'm turning the phone to the side. Okay, and you'll see next to that Wi-Fi logo. Okay, that that there will be an eye icon. You will see it. Yep, you can see that now. The eye icon, and it will dip the screen. That's the first hint that is looking at it. But if I look at back, look, look back at it, so what happened? So you can see that. I don't touch the screen, I touch the sensor. So it just censored. So I'll do it again, in case most of the people out there might think I'm, looking, I'm touching the screen. Let me do that again. Okay, come on guys, come on. Just do it, just do your bloody smart today. 
Damn. So this is a really important feature as well. Like if you're look, okay, dim screen. Dim dim dim. And this is a really important feature, like, um, I really fall asleep a lot on this device, um, and that means I will stay on battery as well. So, even though I'm looking at the device and I just fall asleep, it, w it will know that I'm not looking at my device and it was dimmed. You see that? It's dimmed, right? But enough, I just hold my arm over it. It does it, it does it, trust me. No, I, th I think it doesn't do it by your, your hand, it, just, it does it by your eyes. So it senses your eyes as well. Because most of the people are like, what? That's fake. Because it didn't work and it's fake. It's, it's, it's not fake, mate. Um, if something like CS4 can do smart scrolling by looking at your eyes, it's not like when you do this with your finger, it will do smart scrolling. You really look at your eyes. So just look at your eyes as well. Okay, that's a smart feature on the device. As I told you, to sense as well. So, yeah, that's an amazing feature. I mean, like, um... It looks at your eyes and it just stays awake if you're not looking. If you're not looking at the device, it will just... Let's see, I'll just do it again. See? It doesn't work. It did that. See? This time it did work. <laughs> so, um, it waits to asleep. And the screen maintains a bright display as long as you're looking at it. Great. Great feature on the smart device. I don't, I don't know if an iPhone can do that. Or any other smartphone like Nokia Lumina or something like that. Another phone is Direct Call. Now, most of the people out there... But phones, why do people buy phones? To, to make phone calls, right? But on, on my phone, I don't make phone calls. I use all my phone for my smart features. I'm not the type of calling person. Probably texting. But people, now um, apps such as Viber and, and, um, and S4, uh, Viber and Skype, these apps and WhatsApp can have free text and free video calling and free calling without the use of any credit at all. So you can be anywhere in the world just calling your friends for absolutely free. Now, now, the smart feature on this device, it makes it a bit more interesting. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to call my dad, but I'm, I'm going to edit his video, I'm going to edit his number before um, making a phone call to him, because some of you people out there might be calling him and be like, Hi, is this my box and fun's dad? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, this is a fake number now. I just put on my device. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I need to edit his work number as well. Why does it say work? Why does it say work number? Awkward. Okay, let me delete his work number. There we go. It's a fake number. I don't know if you, I don't know who I'm gonna reach if I call this number, but yeah. Um. So I'm just going to act as I'm putting it against my ear by holding the sensor. So as you know, most people out there just click the call button, and it will call. I had no credit, but um, yeah, that's what will happen. I don't. And Samsung has the courage to put video call. No one actually use that because it has smart features such as the Skype. So, what you do, you usually do this. Pick a phone up and put it against your ears. Okay? But the phone will literally just hit your ear. So, I need to cover the sensor while I'm doing that. So, I can't, I can't cover the sensor and do this because it won't work. I have to do it while I'm doing it like a, like a reality. So, I'll show you what I mean. I'll do it again. Okay, I don't really care. And my call. Okay, let me do that again. You might think, oh, this, there's a secret button up there like that he presses, so he does this. No. 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 It has that feature. Let me show you again. Look, if I press this button, oops, if I press this little thing here, you might think, oh, it calls. Nothing calls. I need to do this. Let me do it again now. There we go, see? That's a smart feature on the device, and that's an amazing smart feature on um, the Samsung Galaxy devices of the day. And that's what I love. That's what I love on devices. That's what I like to see um, to make the device smart. Um, so that's great. Um, a smart feature, and also if you're calling him, if I'm calling someone, so. Oh, come on. It will detect your ears. So obviously, some phones out there, they don't detect your ears, and they just like. Put the, the display bright. Well, what this one does, if you put your ears against it, it will automatically just dim the display, which is also battery life. So, so this smart feature just benefits you basically from your life. And another thing that I like is smart alert. I don't really use that direct call because I can I have hands to do that. If no one has hands, then I don't know why someone would do that. But the smart alert is basically um, if you have if your phone's off, no, if your phone's on lock, it will vibrate to let you know that we have a missed calls or messages. I think most phones out there have this. Another smart feature is S Voice. And S Voice can be launched by going to the home screen. Home screen, come on, come on. 
and tapping twice on the home button and then S voice, I don't know, you can say Who's the Prime Minister? I'm just searching for the answers David Cameron David Cameron See? And it tells you as well on there And if you give it a long equation like what is 64 multiplied by 8 divided by 5 times to by the square root of 59? Don't know if it would do that, but yeah, let's see. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit longer. But yeah, um, that's S4 is it is but it responds. I don't know if I said that right, but anyway, that's what it tells you. That's the answer to the question. And it gives you several methods of, of working it out, which is really great, because you have school working, you have to know an answer, you don't know, you have to use a calculator, so you can just use um, S voice to tell you the answer. An amazing device, uh, an amazing feature on the Galaxy devices. Better than Siri, would say, better responding and, and a bit faster than Siri as well. That's what I really like about this device. Um, and it can even set your alarms and everything. Really nice. Another thing I like is Social Tag. Now, Social Tag is an app which basically is, um, tags things socially. So it tags your photos socially when you're, um, it, tells you, um, it tells you basically like where, are you, where, where you are and it keeps track on, on who people are. Like if, you're, if you have a photo and you want to be like, this is my cousin, you can t you're and your cousin, it's like, this is my cousin on the right hand side, it would tag that your cousin and so if you want to call them, you look at the photo and be like, oh I miss like, my cousin and call her again. So you can just click on her face and they'll call her. So that's all, that's all guys um, on the smart uh, features on the Canon Galaxy S3 devices uh, on S3 as well. Uh, it also has uh, S Beam, which is uh, S Beam is like it shares place to heart by NFC. So you can just basically tap your phone with another um, NFC compatible phone, like not an iPhone, but probably another some a Galaxy S4 or Galaxy S3. Instantly share videos um, and pictures by just doing that. So that's really great on on the Samsung Galaxy S device. Now, um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment below and tell, to tell me what your favourite smart feature on the Samsung Galaxy devices are. So, uh, subscribe because that's the thing I ask for the most. See you later guys, subscribe, bye!